how can you honor God by uh, working in the creation in a way that makes a difference in people's lives, in terms of participating in that narrative arc of the Bible that starts with creation and then has a fall, but then ultimately ends in redemption? How can you participate in that narrative arc? So those were the kinds of things that I started thinking about after I realized I didn't have to be a missionary <laughs> to be of service to God. <laughs> and that, like I said, it was completely liberating for me. And so uh, it was what allowed me to get to the point where a burger restaurant <laughs> sounded like a really good idea. <laughs> you know? <laughs> One thing that was a very difficult choice for me was um, at one point after I had started the restaurants, I really didn't want to use high fructose corn syrup sodas. Now I had already kind of solved the problem by creating a reach-in refrigerator that had, you know, alternative drinks. But uh, I still had this soda fountain that was just pumping out <laughs> high fructose corn syrup. And without profitability, I'm not gonna be able to serve people organic grass-fed burgers because you have to subsidize to a certain extent from the soda machine, you have to subsidize uh, the cost of the beef. So it was a decision that I said, I would rather have somebody come to my restaurant and eat the grass-fed organic hamburger and have that soda, that's better than them going to a competitor and having that soda plus a commodity animal that was sick when they, when they slaughtered it. I had this, um, this balancing act I had to do between recognizing that the world I live in is not perfect, but also taking steps toward what was good and what would be right in God's sight as I read it.